In early 2011, the Southern Poverty Law Center denounced both of Pamela Geller's organizations and the Freedom Defense Initiative and stopped the Islamization of America as hate groups. Words like shrill, coarse, fascist, hate monger, stupid, revolting, and racist began to give an idea of the unprofessional, personal, and emotional nature of this report. Add to this misrepresentation of fact, pretext, and what appears to be lying, and you have what can only be called a political hit piece and another fiasco for the Southern Poverty Law Center. For example, the intelligence profile for Pamela Geller states, the source for this is another SPLC reposting saying the same thing, which contains yet another link to the website Little Green Footballs that says nothing at all about Pamela speaking in Paris. Reading on, the SPLC profile asserts, I am unable to find this in either the Atlas Shrugs archives for 2011 or 2010, and only in the comments left by readers of Atlas Shrugs. We keep hearing about these pictures, but somehow they are always too explosive to reveal. I don't think they exist at all. June 25th on your blog, you later took it down, uh, that suggested Muslims have sex with goats and engage in bestiality. I never posted that. I never posted that. I, I didn't say that. And that's not my position. My what does this have to do with mainstream Islam in America? Why would you have a picture of uh, the Prophet Muhammad, which I have right here, with his face replaced with that of a pig on your blog if you don't have a problem with Islam? I don't know what post you're referring to. I think you're doing draw Muhammad Day. Is that the uh, post that you're referring to someone else? I mean, it it's says not the Holy mine. Prophet. I didn't it has, it. It's on your blog, Atlas Shrug. Isn't that your personal blog? Uh, I wish you could show me the post. What's well, the I'm not going to show. Post? I'm not going to show a picture of Prophet. You know, I'll cover no, it up, but afraid. I have it printed out you're right here. You're afraid to do that. I understand. I understand you're afraid to do that. This is part of the problem. The main organizer of the protest against the uh, Islamic Cultural Center is Pamela Geller. Uh, she has on her website images of the Prophet uh, with urine on his head. I cannot show it now. I have other images. Early on, the report states that Pamela Geller. However, on Atlas Shrugs, Pamela Geller says in plain language that she does not believe Obama is Malcolm X's love child. The Southern Poverty Law Center even accuses Pamela Geller of this twice in the same report by saying later, there are no video, audio, blogs, writing, or recordings of any kind with Pamela Geller promoting this idea. The SPLC even has the nerve to try to shame Pamela Geller. If being noticed by Nazis is enough to get one put on an SPLC hate list, then Noam Chomsky should also be considered. Chomsky has been reviewed favorably by the Journal of Historical Review and has defended Holocaust denier Robert Ferrisson. Here we can see Castle Hill publishers are on the SPLC hate list. Here is Chomsky receiving favorable reviews from the friends of British fascist Oswald Mosley. Chomsky will never be put on a list by the SPLC because he is not a Republican, and that is the real crime at the SPLC. Continuously throughout this report, the SPLC misrepresents Pamela Geller's positions and tries to associate her with hate. It backfires for them here. Dutch politician Hurt Wilders has been acquitted over charges of inciting hate and discrimination. Well, firstly, let me just say I think it was a disgrace that he was put on trial to begin with. I think it's a victory for free speech. I think it's a victory for common sense. At one point, Charles Johnson, someone who is obsessed with hatred of Pamela Geller, is featured in this farcical report saying, my God, she is stupid. Reading this, one is reminded of the Soviet show trials of the last century. This is a fifth column of Ku Klux Klan. He was able to uncover and bring to trial a whole band of murderers and provocateurs from the rightist Trotskyite Bukharin groups as well as from a German group and other fascists. We are in a war. We are at war now. It's not coming. It's not around the corner. We are the soldiers now. This is not a conventional war. Each one of you must fight this war. I cannot impress this upon you enough. You are each activated. When you wake up in the morning and you throw your legs over the bed and you rub the sleep from your eye, you ask yourself, what am I going to do today to save the Republic? I mean it. There is no action that's too small. 
You must do it. Nobody is exempt. There are no exemptions in this war. And I promise you, they may have the big guns. They may have the big media and the big uh, uh, ac academia, and uh, they have the big arsenal. But we, we are good, and we are right, and we are righteous, and we will win. I promise you, never give up, never give up, never give in. We, we will prevail, I promise you, we will prevail. Thank you.